Inscribed on each temple are the words, Holiness to the Lord. That statement designates both the temple and its purposes as holy. The temple is the house of the Lord. The basis for every temple ordinance and covenant, the heart of the plan of salvation, is the atonement of Jesus Christ. Every activity, every lesson, all we do in the church point to the Lord and His holy house. Our efforts to proclaim the gospel, perfect the saints, and redeem the dead all lead to the temple. Within the temple, all are dressed in spotless white to remind us that God is to have a pure people. In that democracy of dress, all sit side by side and are considered equal in the eyes of our Maker. Brides and grooms enter the temple to be married for time and all eternity. Each temple is a house of learning. There we are taught in the Master's way. His way differs from modes of others. His way is ancient and rich with symbolism. We can learn much by pondering the reality for which each symbol stands. Teachings of the temple are beautifully simple and simply beautiful. They are understood by the humble, yet they can excite the intellect of the brightest minds. With each ordinance is a covenant, a promise. A covenant made with God is not restrictive, but protective. Such a concept is not new. For example, if our water supply is not clean, we filter the water to screen out harmful ingredients. Divine covenants help us to filter out of our minds impurities that could harm us. When we choose to deny ourselves of all ungodliness, we lose nothing of value and gain the glory of eternal life. Covenants do not hold us down. They elevate us beyond the limits of our own power and perspective. I have learned that temple blessings are most meaningful when death takes a loved one away from the family circle. To know that the pain of separation is only temporary provides peace that passes ordinary understanding. Death cannot sever families sealed in the temple. They understand death as a necessary part of God's great plan of happiness. Ordinances of the temple relate to personal progress and to the redemption of departed ancestors as well. Service in their behalf provides repeated opportunities for temple worship. By doing for others what they cannot do for themselves, we emulate the pattern of the Savior who wrought the atonement to bless the lives of other people.